everybody and welcome to a new video my name is reese rhodes aka night with rhodes and guys i've got some exciting news to tell you if you are a call of duty fan call of duty Cold war had a drop today where they were showing you the first ever gameplay of the multiplayer footage but in the trailer guys the last about 30 seconds we saw a zombies it was a zombie leak <laughs> finally finally something i'm looking forward to it from Call, Call of Duty Cold War is the zombie mode. I'm not really bothered about the multiplayer, as I love the multiplayer anyway. Um, I'll probably end up playing it, but the main thing is I love zombies. And as you know, I got the mystery box edition on Black Ops 4. Um, and yeah, you know what? I'm absolutely excited for to basically just to show you the new trailer and react to it and actually break down what we can find and what kind of easter eggs um, Call of Duty are actually dropping to give us a little bit more information about what's going to be in the new zombie mode. So guys, here's the trailer and I'll see you all after. Bloody hell, how good was that trailer right now? That trailer it's honestly giving me goosebumps. I'm honestly so excited to talk and break down that video for you guys right now. But oh my god, I have got the chills because we haven't had zombies for a while now. Any new zombies. And just by that trailer on its own, I've seen hidden features which I can't wait to discuss for you guys. Oh my god. So let's just get straight into it. So I'm literally on the first second of the video and already I can see... I can see an, an eye, it either looks, to me, it either looks like an eye and about here, and about here, you can see the, the like the red eye with the black pupil, but maybe we've got a zombie face right now, so this is kind of like a zombie eye, the eye of a zombie, or you could see it from a different perspective, but I think personally this is wrong, but if we look at this bit here, it looks to be like a visor of some sort, of like a space suit or something like that. So it could potentially either be a spacesuit or a zombie eye. I'm kind of getting an eye here. So when it looks a lot better on this screen. So when I'm looking at it here, I can see like the red pupil, the red eye with the black pupil um, and then blue around here. And then it's 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 got a bit it's got a bit more red to it there. So I personally don't think now looking at it again, it doesn't look like an eye, but then it does look like an eye. Because what Call of Duty have done with this trailer, which is amazing, is they've over overlapped images over images. So this could potentially be an eye, and this white and this like white like glare here could be another image overlapped. It could be a bit of interference. But from what I'm seeing first, we've got an eye. I, that that's what I see anyway. Oh, did we miss anything there? Let's let's just take it back. Oh. Oh, we got oh we got two things. Oh, we're seeing it from a different thing here, so I can't really tell make what that is. Let me have a look on this other screen. No, but then if we go here, hello. Hello, hello, hello. What do we have here? So, by the looks of it, we've got soldiers, because I can tell by the hats they're wearing. And does that look does that look Russian? Does does that look Russian to you? Um, it looks like Pro Project. Oh, so we've got a P R O J E K T Project C H O S I. Is that an E or an A? Like E Project Chos. The old one. Project. Chosey Leon. I, mm, I'm not sure. And then it looks like to be, then it looks like to be a logo up here. And some sort. But that's definitely spelling out project right now. And we don't know this word is. No, nothing. So that's wrong. But it's like a sign here, but I can't read out what that sign is. And this looks like a figure of some sort, but I could be totally wrong. Anyway, let's go on to the next part. Right, okay, so we've got another main 
we've got another part here. We're going to break this down. So we've got uh, we've got a very vibrant arrow up here. That that leads on to the next scene. So I'm looking at this now, guys, and I'm kind of getting a figure vibe to this. So it looks like a figure in a TV screen um, doing an, an announcement, pretty much. It could relate back to the old zombie characters. So your Rick Toff and your Dempsey, your Nikolai, your Takio. It could link back to them somehow. It could, and it could, these guys could be like could be telling the person watching this video how to make the transporter because we've got these big blue wavy lines at the background here. And as you know, when you teleport or transport, it it makes. And I'm kind of getting that vibe, so maybe this is like a video of some sort of the old zombie characters um, telling the current new zombie characters on how to teleport. I could be wrong, but this is a breakdown video and my my view of it, my view of it and what I think conspiracy wise. So let's go into the next scene. So boom, straight away, first thing, you look at this, what does it remind you of? But oh, boom, straight away, nap. Dirt Untoten. So it's an old map from Call of Duty World of War. I played this on my PlayStation 3 a lot. And I know them stairs because you have to pull by to get up there. But it doesn't look like your Nacht Dirt Untoten. It kind of looks like a revamp of Nacht Dirt Untoten. Because as you can see, we've got the graffiti here. And the arrow, the arrow does glare out in Nacht Dirt Untoten anyway. But if we go closer, here we go. Boom. A bit clearer for us. We've got... We've got the graffiti and we've got the spray paint and stuff like that. I can't really see any clues to it being Nacto and Toton. But if we have a look at the staircase, it's iconic. Boom, like this one. That is the that is Nacto and Toton staircase. If you compare it to this one, it looks the same. And I think and I think in Cold War, guys, Cold War Zombies, we're gonna have a Nacto and Toton map. Absolutely buzzing. And I'm so excited for that to happen if it does. But we're looking at the guy as well. We have got the starting pistol back. Um, and also, it kind of doesn't look like an an old character. So Nacto and Toton was like World War II, Nazis. But this isn't. If you look and look at his gloves, it doesn't really look like a, an old-fashioned way. It kind of looks like a new way. So maybe this is a Nacto and Toton. But it's kind of with new characters rather than the old Rick Toffin and that lot. Because I don't... From, from the end of the... From the from the easter egg cutscene of the last one, I don't know if we'll see Rick Toffin and the gang in this one. We could do, we could do, but fingers crossed, fingers crossed we do, because I would like to see Rick Toffin pop up on my screen again. But if not, would this new crew take over? That's only what I'm going to say. But let's go into the next one. Next cutscene, let's... Right, so we had a lot there, so we had a lot there, so let's, let's rewind, rewind. Okay, so with this bit here, guys, I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting the teleportation waves. I don't know if it's just me, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the teleportation waves from here. Like what you had when you were in Keanu Del and you teleported to the projection room, you go to the pack a punch. Kind of reminds me of that. I could be wrong. Also, guys, listen very carefully to the to the music in the background here. I've only just clicked on. So if you listen. Let's listen again, see if you can hear it. That is the Juggernog theme song right now. That is, in fact, the Juggernog theme song. If you don't believe me, here's the Juggernog music. And I haven't played the whole song. I've just played a snippet. Now listen to that snippet again. And now listen to this. You ready? Aaron Warzone. Modern Warfare and Warzone. Reach for Jugger. Reach for Jugger. Reach for Juggernog. The Juggernog perk is back. That is what we're excited for. That is what we're buzzing about. And I cannot wait to see these perks. Hopefully all the perks are back. But just for now, we've seen a quick teaser of Juggernog. Right, so so we're onto this screen now, ladies and gentlemen. I'm getting, I'm getting a vibe of somebody laying down, looking at me right now. I don't know about you. I don't know why my hands are doing this, but look here. It looks like a person laying down. So you've got like the nose, the mouth, the eyes, 
and the suit here. Kind of looks like he's laying down. Looking at us, it looks better on the screen. I can still see it. The hair. The eyes here. The eyes, the nose, and the mouth. And then the suit. Is this a guy laying down? getting About to get butchered by somebody? Or is he trying to tell us something? I can't really tell. Um, I might move over to YouTube. To oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's happened here? <gasps> Yo. Yo. New character alert. That looks like one of the new main characters the woman character um no names are out being discussed yet i don't believe but yeah that's definitely a new character it kind of reminds me so it's kind of bringing me to black ops 4 where you had the original gang of bruno on that lot and that kind of looks like scarlet but not the old not the old-fashioned one from the from the map from the old titanic map and stuff like that kind of reminds me of like a modern scarlet so maybe these guys have gone into the future and the in the zombies maps but look i can kind of see i'm pointing at my screen but you can't see me pointing at the screen this here looks like a hooded figure i'm getting a hooded figure vibes from here if you see see like you've got the big hood here and the little face here maybe this is another character and we don't know maybe 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 i'm not sure so three or six let's try and go to the next frame is there any more to try and unlock I'm moving my mouse as slow as I can. So what we're getting here is we're, kind of, we're just kind of getting the teleportation vibes again into the next cutscene. And what Triarch and Activision have done very, very well is they've overlapped images and by images and by images and added a lot of gradient and human saturation. It's hard to it's hard to point out all the little tiny bits. It's what I'm trying to find right now. I'm trying to find all the little tiny details um but no this is this is the next part so they've done very well triarch you've done very well so there's nothing there uh we've got the monkey bomb the monkey bomb is back this kind of it looks like a a nuke yeah yes 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 so this ladies and gentlemen it looks better on here than what he does on here but this looks like a nuke um hung up like a factory of some sort, maybe a, maybe like a an ironworks or a fact or an industrial factory because we've kind of got the nuke hung up here uh, with the hatch open and yet yeah, if you see it may be a trap. You see it's like ready to get built, so maybe we are in a in a factory on industrial works here. And we've got another arrow. So these purple arrows have have appeared quite a lot. Like this is the second purple arrow we've seen in the trailer. Um, so. Three main things for this part is the new, the monkey bomb, and the arrow. So let's let's fast forward a little bit and let's see if we can see any more. Go forward, go forward, go forward, stop. We've got the teleportation thing again. Yo yo yo, you see this figure guys? Yo yo, you see this figure? So I've already researched this guys. So this guy is called Grigory Reva, as you can see. Um I don't as you can see here. We got the eye patch and the mustache here. I don't know if it's just me that can see it. And then if we go on to here, we've got the mustache and the eye patch. And if you look, he's called Grigory Reva, and he was and he was in Call of Duty Black Ops and Black Ops 4. And Blackout, because he was a character in Blackout too. But if we look at this, look at the first line of like his of like his profile. And it says, Grigory Reva, his mission was to sabotage the rocket. We saw a nuke on that map. We saw it. We saw like a new thing on that map. So maybe he is a character from the the rocket, like the nuke thing, and maybe there's a rocket in that map, and it's kind of like his map. You know what I mean? And he's a special agent, and he was one of the secondary protagonists and non-playable characters in Call of Duty Blackout. He was a member of the CIA Special Activities Division, and as part of the squad in his mission, WMD call sign for his squad during WMD is Kilo 1. So if you remember, WMD was actually a map in Black Ops 4. Um, and yeah, what about if that map is a zombie map? That would be pretty sick. It would be pretty awesome. That would be pretty awesome. But we, we nothing's confirmed. Nothing's confirmed yet. We're only looking at like a 15 second clip here and breaking it down. But WMD, World's Mass Destruction, map confirmed. Fingers crossed. Or maybe it links 
or maybe it links to one of the maps. So right, let's let's fast forward again. Right, boom. First start, we go into this next part, and we see boom hazmat zombie on the floor. I don't know if it's a zombie, but it's a person in a hazmat on the floor, and you've got a barrel here that looks like a new barrel. Fast forward, keep going through, keep going through. This looks like. I don't know why it looks like a rocket. So maybe we're seeing more of this WMD map. Like, if you look, it's all going up into this funnel here. Oh, it's a big, or it's a big teleportation. Or it's a big teleportation device. Oh, or it, I don't know. It could be an office. So we could be, we could be like on a ship here. Or a prison ship. Because if you know from Guardians of the Galaxy, I know I'm going to a marble here. But if we're going to Guardians of the Galaxy, we've got the big office, dome office at the top. This kind of looks like the dome office, you know. Got more of the teleportation. And then we look down from here and boom, we've got zombies. If we look at them zombies right now, we've got soldiers. So we've got guys in helmets, like right here. And then we've got people in white shirts, which look like to have dungarees. Boom, these could be workers. We could be on a ship instead. Because these are like... Because I've... A few films I've seen about, uh, like, war films and stuff. People who are working on a ship will wear, like, the dungarees and the white shirt. Kind of like Titanic. This, and then you've got the soldiers here. So what about, like, a battleship? Like a, like a battleship of some sort. And let me go down into here. Looks like... Is that an electronic line? Does that look like a line, or does that look like water? I... I really don't know. It kind of looks like water, but then it kind of looks like electricity powering through it. Because you've got the flashing lights. So maybe we could be on... Maybe we could be like... But then looking at the railings... I don't know. Will it, would it be? Would it be? We turn off here, and then we've got smash glass, we've got a wooden barrel, a wire. Well, then this zombie here looks like to have, looks like to have burns, burns on him. So either he's been hit by like a molotov, or it's, or because he's, he's not wearing a hazmat suit, he's been hit to radiation, which is causing, well, it's killed him, but causing degree burns on him. Ooh, we could be like. Ooh. And then I can't really see anything on this. Kind of more like teleportation. And then and then we're done, ladies and gentlemen. We're absolutely done. That was amazing. That 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 trailer and breaking it down is amazing to find out what we found out. So we found out that we potentially could have a knack to tour on map. We, we, we found out it could be a modern group. It couldn't be the original guys, but the original guys are in it helping this other group to try and escape, potentially. Um, looks like we're seeing some other, other locations and everything like that. It looks amazing. But before I go any further, Noah J456 actually was streaming and he went on to the lobby. Because he has actually got the alpha, so he can look at the lobbies. I went onto his video, slowed it down until it hit the lobby screen, and stopped it. And stopped it completely. This is the opening screen. And if you look, we've got an intelligence thing here, an intelligence badge. You can't play, it's been locked. But we've got the intelligence badge here, and it says classified. But by looking at that, by looking at that, guys, what do you see? Um, because what I see is, from my zombie experience, I see transit. Don't ask me why, I just see transit because this kind of looks like a tunnel, believe it or not. This looks like a tunnel. This looks like the control panel, like in the middle of the tunnel, you know, like a stop. And this, I don't know if this is the bus driver, you know what I'm saying? This could be like, or I could be totally wrong because it looks like there's another nuke in the background here. This was only a little snippet from Noah's, but if we look here, we kind of got a nuke. We got a zombie. But when I first looked at that, I was like, yo, this is transit. This is the driver, you know? 
But I could be totally wrong here now because the drive is robotic. Hmm. Uh, it could be a control panel to the ironworks or the factory we're talking about, but who knows? Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Naut Roads, aka Reese Roads. If you have enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, rate, and subscribe. And also, let me know about anything you find in the zombie trailers down below or at my Twitter or Instagram. If you guys see anything, if you guys are zombie nerds like me and you are looking into like the trailer de step by step and breaking down, breaking it down and trying to see what little bits you can find, you know, and everything like that, please do let me know because I want to see what you, you guys think. I want to see what your points of view are, for what these are. You know what? It would be absolutely amazing if we could like talk, like have a thread together and just talk about the upcoming zombies because guys, I have pre-ordered it and I will be playing the beta on October the 8th. So guys, I will probably stream over on Twitch and YouTube at the same time, doing the Call of Duty Cold War beta on October 8th. So guys, Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube and make sure you follow me on Twitch and click them notification bells on both because, guys, we're going to be having a lot of good fun on Call of Duty. So, hope you have enjoyed this video and I'll see you all for the next one. Much love, guys. Peace out. You legends.